All right, so next in our MySQL series, we're going to be talking about the string data types. Now, there are actually quite a few string data types, but they fall into a few different categories. We've got char and varchar. These are normally for small amounts of text. You want to get somebody's name or their email address, something like that. That's varchar and char. Now, the difference between the two of them is varchar stands for variable character, and that means that the length of the string that you're saving can vary. So somebody's email address could be 20 characters, somebody else could be 50 characters. And it allows for the difference in length. It only takes up the amount of memory required to store that value. With char, we're talking about a fixed length string. So uh, maybe you've got uh, an ID number for your company or for your school, and that number for everybody is the same number of digits. Maybe it's nine digits, and every single person has a nine digit value. You can save that as a char field. Instead of as a number, you can save it like a string, and it's always going to be nine characters long. So we get to specify the length for these things. With binary and var binary, what we're talking about is same as char and var char. Binary is fixed, var binary is flexible length, um, and you specify how many characters you want. With the binary, every field is going to be the exact same number. With var binary, it varies from one row to the next. With blob and text types, blob Again, we're talking about binary information. We're not talking about saving individual characters, but it's the actual stream of ones and zeros that we're saving inside of there. Uh, text, we're talking about characters. Now, the difference between text and varchar is that with a text type, you're not going to specify how much memory you need. You choose one of the text types or one of the blob types, and the database says, okay, this is how much space is allotted, does what you're saving fit into the amount of space? Now, the amount of space, let's jump over here into PHP my admin for a second. I've got uh, a little table that I created for string data with sort of the categories here. Now, we've got varchar. With varchar, we would specify a length. So let's say I want to save something that's 80 characters long. With char, I want to save something for everybody that's nine. Var binary. As well, I would specify a length. So with that, let's say I'm going to save 55 um, binary. Do the same thing. We'll say nine. Um, so this is the amount of space that we want to have set aside. For var, char, and var binary, it's up to these numbers. For char and for binary, it is going to be this amount for every single one. Now, blob and text, they have a predefined size. So there's actually a bunch of these. If we take a look in here, you can see tiny blob, medium blob, blob, and long blob. These are the different sizes. And this will be 2 to the 8th, 2 to the 16th, 2 to the 24th, and 2 to the 32nd. That's how much memory. Oh, actually, yeah, you can see it there in the little pop-up notes. It's probably very, very small on your screen, but it's going to tell us you get basically four gigs, and that amount of memory is going to be set aside for every single entry that you're putting in here. So you wouldn't want to choose long blob to save some binary data necessarily. If you are going to have some small files, some big files, if you choose a blob, it's going to set aside four gigs for every single entry. Now, the thing about blobs is you can't put an index on it. You cannot say that this is a primary key. And that's because of the way the data gets handled internally. It actually only takes the first one or two bytes and saves it in the table. The rest of the data is going to be saved in a hidden table. So it's going to be saved off someplace else. It takes much longer to be able to search things based on the values inside of here. Or with text, same sort of thing. Uh, here's my text field. And if we go down to the text section, here we go. Tiny text, text, medium text, long text, 2 to the 8th, 2 to the 16th, 2 to the 24th, 2 to the 32nd. These are the number of bytes that we can, or sorry, characters that we can save inside of here. But for every single row, 
you are going to have that amount of memory set aside. So it's going to use up a tremendous amount of storage space if you use these text fields, as opposed to the varchar. Varchar, I can have up to 65,535 um, bytes worth of data, string data, saved inside of there. But if it doesn't need that whole amount, it's not going to use that whole amount. We just provide a maximum. So char, varchar, very flexible. This is what you will use most of the time. But if you are saving large amounts of text, let's say you're saving um, articles for an online newspaper or a blog, you might want to consider then switching over to one of the text fields. But carefully think about what is the absolute maximum that you are ever going to need. And do you want to, in some way, set a cap within your website, within your server-side code to make sure that you're not exceeding that maximum? Because you don't want to go way over it and have too much storage space used up, but you don't want to cut yourself short either. Okay, so that's blob and text. Blob for binary data, text for text data, and you choose the one you want based on how much storage you need at a maximum. But remember that you're going to get that amount of space for every single one of them. Now, enum and set, this is an enumeration where with an enumeration, what you do is you provide a list of possible values that can go inside of here. And with an enumeration, you can have up to 65,535. So two to the power of 16, you can have that number of values put inside of here, and the person chooses one of those values. So we do something like that. We're listing off a whole bunch of possible values. Then the user has to pick one of these values. With a set, it's the same sort of idea. We come up with a list So put all these inside of here. So we have a few names. With a set, I can choose one or more of these possible values from the set. From the set. Uh, but I can have a maximum of 64 values. So people can only pick 64 of the things that I put inside of here. With an enumeration, I can have up to 65,000 possible values, but the user picks one of those when they're saving. And that's it. That is strings. Um, collation has to do with the different character sets that we use for storing the data. Uh, UTF-8 is generally what we use. So here's the UTF-8 general CI. That is the one that we have set for our database as a whole right now. Um, we can come in here and set it on individual fields. We can use different ones for different fields. If you're using uh, different languages in different columns, you might want to consider switching which UTF-8 UTF character set you're using just to minimize the amount of storage required. You can set it on the table as a whole, or you can set it on individual columns, or you have a default for your entire database. All right, so that's a lot of information. Um, I will provide the link to the MySQL documentation on string types, just so you can look in, look back at as a reference to see, okay, is there some sort of requirement that I'm missing for one of these, or what would be the best fit for the data that I'm trying to save? All right, if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the uh, comments down below. I'll provide the link to this documentation and a link to the rest of the, play, the uh, tutorial series inside the description. And as always, thanks for watching.